Since you journey with us in the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims. Your charity is willing to shelter. During your merciful gaze towards us, <coughs> draw us into your presence, shower us with your kindness, lead us into light and into love, lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the August mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine being, will see all things in eternal love and unity. Resounding on the waters, 
Lord, on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat and turned over the flood. The Lord sits asking forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. himself in his mind, that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit, all wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness, as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways, he clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evil doers fall. Flung down, they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If we are faithless, He remains faithful. shall not glorify your name, O Lord. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you've been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord. And he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. And say on that age. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. 
Proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout, throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Thanks to the Lord upon the heart, for the ten string lutes in him songs. Oh, sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth hear the Lord, all who live in the world with hear him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their needs. The king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his train. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot stay. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love. To rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. From the first letter of St. John, No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God dwells in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. The way we know we remain in him, and he in us, is that he has given us of his spirit. We have seen for ourselves, and can testify, that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. When anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him, and he in God.
to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, <coughs> and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. trespasses, as so we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who through sin from you have renewed the manner of life of hermits in your church, grant that denying ourselves and following Christ, we may merit to reach the heavenly realms on high, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who is and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty who bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O John, shining, shining star, star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the word, the eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the word made flesh, who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agathos, under the life-giving guidance of the spirit Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.